And this moments ago on the tee at the par 315, Emma Henningsen, the sophomore who plays collegiately at South Dakota, hails from Sweden. Her tee shot from 136 yards. Magic for Emma, the ace at the par 315. What a way to kickstart our coverage day two. With Rodriguez for birdie and a share of the lead and say hello to Amelia. Hello, Burko, and it was these holes, the par fives, that Rodriguez did so well yesterday, birdied four out of the five. S standard's been set pretty high when yeah, you get an ace right out of the gate. Extremely <laughs> high. A little bit warmer today, temperatures mid to high 60s, a little bit more sun, so a little bit of adjustment perhaps for the players. I'm oh, taking a different approach. I love this little feather fade. Right here, be the number. Can we see two? It was right on line. Up at 16, Emma Henningsen. We saw our top of the show with an ace. This is for Eagle. Can she go one, three? <laughs> oh, she can. she can. How about that? Emma, can you do something for me? How about that? Back to back Eagles. You don't see that very often. Here at 17, three back, par threes. Nothing to it for her. I tell you what, she has been a highlight reel the last two holes. Can we get another one? Okay. Opportunity. That's to go seven under. Of Gregory Odom Jr. We promise you, he's right behind that tree. And just punching out. Look at that little punch hook right there. Got that upslope to kill it a little bit. That's gonna kill. <laughs> How feet. good is this? Even better. Gregory Odom hit it right behind the tree. That tree's some 60 yards short of this green, and now he's got a two and a half footer. This now for Birdie at 17 to go seven under on this inward half. Can she do it again? Oh, oh yes, right. Emma. Oh. Everett White Jr. is second at 12. Yeah, you can tell he hit driver all the way up there. There's Greg Odom's ball, didn't mark it. Get in for two. Oh, we can go ahead and give him that three right there, Mr. Bukowski. Let's go to 18, second for Henningsen. Well, I'm so glad I got to be witness to this last shot of Emma's round. What a what a day is she having. Perfect position. That was from 85 yards and another birdie look. All right, back at 10, Jay Zeke Dukes. This for birdie. Race that eagle putt well by. And all right, that's how you. Yeah, gathered himself. We saw it together. Take him some time behind the green to collect his thoughts. And you're so interesting to hear how she talks about how she maintained this round. This to shoot one of the lowest nine holes I've ever seen. Oh, yes. Oh. Emma Henningsen. Wow. We talked about the history on this golf course and what legends have done. This back nine going to be talked about for a long time at Cedar Crest. It's one under three shots off the lead has played extremely well the past two days for as someone you said, Doug. Hadn't played golf in a while. No, she hadn't, <laughs> hadn't played a championship since. Hello. Oh, thought we were going to see another one. Now she's got a chance to get to minus two. Hadn't played a tournament since July. July. And you know what? Sometimes that frees you up to play your best golf. You have no expectation. You just kind of pull up to the course and see what happens. Moment to go. KJ Offengaway at 12 really has one of the best short games that I've seen in a while. And he's displaying it right here. Why not pay it off? Oh, oh yes, KJ. Oh. And Chris Stiles for birdie. I think Stiles needs one to fall for him. Drop. Nope. Oh, it dropped. <laughs> you heard him say drop. Let's see if Alan Stevens can get the five under here at the 16th. Really good look, just playing this right edge. Looks pretty good. Yeah, if you like making putts, absolutely. Good read there, Julia. Hit that right edge with some pace, held the line. And looking for a two at 17. Well, there you go. Sometimes you got to use the body language. Mindset as we see Styles here, Burko. Yeah, his second at 11, trying to get up and down from the bunker, and believe he's going to do it. That's a fantastic shot. There's some new sand in these bunkers, and sometimes there's some challenges when you do that. But Styles able to handle that. All right. Back at 12, birdie putt here for Jay Z Dukes. Yeah, we saw him run that putt back past the hole in the par five. Can he get this one to go? He can. Yep. That's two big birdie putts we've caught 
for Jay Zeke. The step of yesterday's round. Unreal to me. And she's going to do that and likely get out of here with a birdie. Good things happen to good people. Wow. There, right before I left yesterday, I went up to the range just to see who was up there, try to ask a couple of questions. CM was still on the range yesterday. Ooh. Hello. That paid off there. 315th Gregory Odom Jr. Well, this is a very favorable hole location on this right side. Really opens up the green. This is a good line. <laughs> Trying to pull at Emma and Henningsen. Correct. We've seen a handful of good ones. And we are back at 15. Cheese shot on the way. Very good line. Oh, how about that? Looking just barely outside right. Yes! Whoa. All right, there's some fire. <laughs> Felt that here in the booth. 188 yards, great position. And if you miss it, ideally you want to miss it short. You have more green to work with. This is also headed slightly left. He's begging for it for soft. He got it. He can get the putter on that. Yeah, just off the green over at 16. Wanza, his third. Very interesting play going with a wood to chip off here. Very got to make sure it doesn't come off too hot. Yeah, that's one of the toughest shots in golf if you don't practice it. And wow, did he pull it off? Yeah, that was absolutely incredible. Exactly what you said, Jack. If you don't practice that shot, you would have probably been over the green. Right over to the 15th. Jay Z Dukes getting ready to go. <laughs> right now in recovery, but he's a golf coach at Duncanville High School, just about nine miles away, and has a couple of kids actually playing in this golf tournament, but wishing him a good recovery and enjoying the golf. How about this putt? Oh, Whoa. yes. A little victory lap. You set that up beautifully. <laughs> go low or take it high and carry it all the way there. Kind of going to go mid-range and get some spin on that second bounce. Oh, oh. yes. <laughs> Off in Galway. And loves to cut the ball. Big left or right player. Took the opposite route with this swing. And oh, there's a twirl. He likes it. Oh, yes. Oh. Go in. Oh. Oh. Rightfully oh. so. Got that to get to six under for the championship. Head back to 18. Marcus Smith Jr. in his second. Yeah, one of my favorite golf swings out here this week. Right over the flag stick. He's a little bit. Galway will do with his last approach shot of the day. And go back a hole ago, Burko. He threw it in there inside of five feet and didn't convert. Now this is going to be inside of five feet. Really utilize that backs up how steep that is, but you have to weigh in that uphill elevation change. Seems to be tuggy. Oh, that should work its way toward the hole. Yeah, it's gonna get away with that. Christian Rodriguez. Oh, yes. Mm, burns the low side there, but a great shot. A chance to close out with another birdie. Be one shot back. There you go, that's how you finish up. Impressed with what we've seen here at the Southwest Airlines Showcase at Cedar Crest. What else stood out to you from high above as we've got 18 holes remaining? You know, seeing Emma and how she finished that round, and she, we talked about her being in a flow state and then looking at her finish the round and then mentioning that she did, in fact, exist in that state of just let me take it shot by shot. We talk about how cliche it is, but you take this look at this leaderboard, and Island Stevens, two-shot lead over Emma, but Amber Pennington hadn't played the tournament since July. Minus three through two rounds here at Cedar Crest. I'm overall, Burko, just impressed with the golf that we've seen.